Adrian Stevens. The History of Esculent Fish by Roger North. The Manner of Stocking Waters. I have found a great analogy between the stocking waters with fish and pastures with cattle, and that the same conduct and discretion belong to both. Waters may be overstocked, as pastures often are, so both may be understocked. The latter is the less error, for if you overstock, you lose the whole summer's seed. If you understock, you lose only the rest of your profit. What you do seed is much the better, and turns to account the more ready sale. So also of beasts, some of the same age and seeding will not thrive so well as others. I have found the like in my fish, and waters themselves, like pastures, have varieties of goodness. Some will raise carps from five to eighteen inches in five years, others will not do it in ten. This is most sensible between your great waters made upon a fall and the small standing waters, which have more inconveniences and are liable to frosts and other casualties more than the others are. Therefore, I propose that the smaller waters should be used as nurseries, and either to breed or be stocked with the bread fry of other waters, to raise them to a fitness for stores in your principal feed, that is, to six or eight inches. And of these bread fry, you may put one hundred into four rods square of water, or near that proportion, and fail not to remove them in two years' time, and so you will have good recruits of stores for your greater waters. And thus the many thousands of bread fish that you will have upon the draining your great waters, which many are apt to slight, may be sent several ways to the waters about that and your neighbours' grounds, and there fed up like chickens, and in time turn to great profit, as I shall show. Therefore they ought not to be slighted, but carefully to be preserved, the rather because considering a pond, as I propose, will, though but four acres, feed up to 1,600 carps in two, and perhaps in one year, from 10 to 18 inches, fit for your table presence or sale. How is it possible that you should restock your waters the winter after, without this providential forecast, whereby you have magazines of fish in other ponds, fit stores to supply your occasion? Now, as for your great and principal waters, it is hard to assign a certain proportion for the stock, but perusing the methods I propose, you will soon come to the knowledge what stock the waters will carry, for laying a pond dry every year, you will see the fish well fed, or else thin and lean, and accordingly you judge whether the stock was too little or too much for the water. Thus, by the thickness or fatness of cattle, you judge if your ground will carry more or not, and both as to species and number of fish, experience must be your guide in the stocking of waters. However, to save loss of time, which you must sustain by making your own experience, I will give the best directions I can for the first entry upon your business.